Hello, and welcome to the world of life is futile. Life is Futile is a hardcore and challenging MMORPG, and today we're discussing several of its key features. Life is Futile is an online project crafted by indie studio Bitbox. Set in the Middle Ages, players experience this historic time in its purest form without fantasy, magic, or monsters, precisely adapted from medieval life. Players can fight each other with period weapons, build huts and villages to form societies, craft items and weapons to strengthen armies, harvest food to feed communities, and more. Initially released as Life is Futile, your own, in November 2015, the game's first version was designed for only 64 players in a single world within an approximate 2 by 2 mile pre-generated map. Now, with Life is Futile MMO, developers can host over 10,000 players in a single world with an approximate 13 by 13 mile pre-generated map. Let's dive into the game's details and discuss the 10 main features of Life is Futile MMO. Modify the entire world as you see fit. Dig a tunnel, make a hill, build a house or a huge fortress. Even create your own island in the expansive ocean. Tap into every resource found throughout the world. But remember, to create something useful, you'll need to master your skills. Just like in real life, practice makes perfect. Players always have the option to fight alone, yet there's no denying that battling with friends shoulder to shoulder is more enjoyable and effective. Party leaders can group players in several different formations, including circle, triangle, and others to receive useful damage bonuses. Team up with friends, take a formation, and fight like real medieval knights. Oh wait! Don't try fighting with bare hands. Life is Feudal's rich crafting system lets players forge swords and many other kinds of period weapons. For instance, you'll need iron bars, leather, and a furnace to create the knight sword. And all these prerequisite items are made using primary resources found within the medieval world. Quite realistic, right? So be prepared for an intensive crafting system. It's an essential experience in Life is Feudal's world and a foundation upon which the game was built. It's as realistic as possible, of course. With no target skills, damage depends on various in-game factors, including weapon type and weight, armor characteristics, a character's body condition, striking accuracy, attack direction, special combos, and many more. Keep these in mind when fighting to become the toughest warrior in life is futile. Imagine five climate zones, with each having its own distinct set of weather conditions and length of seasons. At first glance, these may just look like aesthetic details, but these zones actually impact your experience in meaningful ways. For instance, how can you prevent being killed and looted in a game? Simple. Build a wooden shelter in a remote location where you'll never be found. And where in the world is there perfect lumber for the task? In the north. Why? Because snow helps trees grow large and tall in that climate zone. Here's a different case. Your dream is to become a farmer, right? You're fond of growing and harvesting all types of food. To be a happy farmer, you'll need a perfect balance of rain and sun. Reach for your dream and find happiness by working down in the southern climate zone. As in real life, your character will bleed and experience hunger and tiredness throughout the game. Many dangers exist within the game that could lead to a painful death. Starvation, enemies, supercooling, and wild animals to name a few. Clearly, death is a part of this realistic medieval life experience. Set campfires to keep warm and eat apples to keep full as you journey throughout the world. 
Playing with friends helps you avoid aggressive players and wild animals. And always remember, watch your HP and stamina bars with care. Good at cooking? Let's see! By checking out those hearty medieval recipes. Amazing meals like water zooey or great berry pie are made with five different ingredients requiring a high level skill. And these are just two of the easier recipes to cook. A good cook is as useful as a good fighter. After all, knights need food to fuel their axe swinging, right? Don't forget, high-quality food increases a character's skill, so make sure to outfit your crew with at least one cooking master. Bitbox decided that health point and stamina bars weren't enough for this medieval life experience. And they're right. This decision expands players' opportunities to wisely use their time. The hard health points bar represents the physical health of your character and the soft health points bar represents the consciousness of your character. In other words, it's not the end of the world when you run out of your soft HP. Your character will just fall unconscious. But once your hard HP bar is gone, it's game over. Now, we'll move on to the stamina bars. The hard stamina bar determines how long players can run distances, and the soft stamina bar measures high intensity, short duration activities like sprinting. Life is Feudal MMO contains an enormous map reflecting the massive scope of the world which takes hours to cross entirely. This expansive world is made possible through 49 interconnected servers that negate the need for boring loading screens between locations, all of which underscores Bitbox's commitment to a realistic medieval life experience. Want to mark your house as your own? Put a claim on it so no other player can unexpectedly steal your domain. Want to be the boss of the whole block? Build a monument with your crew to claim a much-needed piece of land. The land claims feature helps protect you from random looters and trespassers, ensuring you get to enjoy the safety of your own home. To round out our 10 main features in Life is Feudal, I'll fill you in on one more aspect of the game – mini-games. Through in-game opportunities or the official Life is Feudal website and mobile app, players can perform their daily resource routines whenever they want, even on the way to or from work. It's medieval, it's realistic, and it's challenging. Dig tunnels, build castles, conquer lands, and socialize. Here, life isn't paradise. Here, life is futile.